I am right next to what the Invasive Species Compendium calls one of the worst weeds in the world. Now, it may be one of the worst weeds, but it's actually good to eat. And uh, it's good to know about it. And what weed is this? Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. And one of the reasons why this right here, which is called sheep sorrel, is considered to be one of the worst weeds in the world isn't because it's so unhealthy. It's not actually. It's actually perfectly healthy to eat. The reason it's so bad is because typically as a farmer is working in his field, what he does is he goes and uh, he tills up the field. You know, you're just spinning and crushing and kind of uh, breaking up the earth. And typically what that does is it destroys the roots of, of the plants and the weeds that are in the field. The trouble is with with this plant is that it grows not only from seeds like you know most plants do but it also grows in a rhizomal fashion what does that mean now the rhizome are the underground stems of the plant like these stems just begin to grow out under the earth and as they grow uh, they just begin to spread and every additional plant that comes for it is actually a clone of the original the trouble is when a farmer is tilling his field it breaks up the roots and as they break up that's great for most plants because it just destroys them or pulverizes them but in the case of sheep sorrel it actually causes a problem. What happens is they just spread even worse. So you can realize why this would be called one of the worst uh, weeds in the world. But if you're out in the forest, if you've ever had a time where you've been out hiking all night long, I've had that experience where you, you're looking for food and, and I was literally just eating dandelions all night because we were hiking all night long from six in the evening till six in the morning and, and um, eating dandelion after dandelion. It was in Iceland and so, uh, never got dark, so you could hike all the time. But nevertheless, I didn't have any food with me. And, and, but it's good to know some of these wild edible foods. This particular plant here, once again, it's called sheep sorrel, red sorrel, and also gentleman sorrel. I kind of like that one, you know? Feels like a gentleman when you eat it, right? Uh, maybe not. But nevertheless, it, one of the interesting things about it is you eat it. It's been said to have the flavor of a sour apple. And to my taste, I can kind of taste it. I could see that, like a, a not quite ripe sour apple mixed with lettuce, which may be a little bit strange. And it is, it, it's a little bit strange, but once again, here it is. There's plenty of it growing in this area right here. Uh, so it's something where if you're looking to get a little bit of nutrition, a little bit of sustenance, it has, um, it has some iron in it, it has calcium in it. And so it's plenty healthy to eat, even though it's not very good to uh, have in your field if you're trying to grow other food because it can cause trouble. But you can simply eat it. You can eat the you can eat the stems, and you can eat the tops. Now the stems can get kind of woody, uh, and then they're not going to hurt you. It's just you know going to be kind of nasty in your mouth, nasty in your teeth. But but when it's still green and fresh like this, it's going to be just fine. Now if, if you notice here in this particular footage you notice that there, it has the shape, it's been called the arrowhead shape. To me, it reminds me a little bit more, it can over time look like an arrowhead, but it reminds me of when I was a kid. I grew up uh, you know, eating all this refined junk food, and you remember those goldfish you could buy, those little maybe cheese-flavored goldfish, that shape? Uh, often, especially in its, not in its youngest stage, but kind of the middle stage, it has the look of the goldfish. And to me, it's very simple to see, uh, very simple to be able to discern from other plants. and. Um, just something that you can anytime, anytime you're out in the field and you find this plant, it is a simple good plant to eat, has a nice flavor, it can be mixed well with other salad greens. So if you have your own salad, maybe you're growing some greens and mixing some of this in can just add a nice bite to your meal. So learn more about sheep sorrel and God bless and have a great day.